Being Rave 11 here, and I got my notes. Um, so tonight was the top eight girls on American Idol, and I think I'm just gonna go into the best of the night, middle, and then who I think is gonna go home. Um, the I only can think of about three or four girls who for sure have a spot in our top 12. Um, number one is, yep, you guessed it, Bauer Socks. Yes, I love loved Crystal Bauer Socks, even though she picked a song that's been done to death on Idol. She at least did it well, and I think it was definitely good enough to get her into the top 12 for sure. Um, next, who I think is going to have no problem getting through next week is Dee Dee Banami. Um, she did actually one of my favorite songs ever, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. Ah! <laughs> I loved, loved, loved Dee Dee's rendition, especially, I have to give her mad props, you know, for n not doing a song that's ever been covered on Idol. I definitely have to give her props for that, and it was fantastic, and I love that song, so A+. Plus. I loved it. Well, okay, maybe not A+. Plus. We're like... B plus. But, you know, it was still good. <laughs> um, another girl who I think is going to sail right through is Siobhan Magnus. I loved her rendition of House of the Rising Sun, and she definitely deserved that standing O. It was powerhouse vocals, and, you know, I really don't understand why Simon was so hard on her, but that's okay. Um, excuse me. Um, and so that's about that. Um, the mid pack players, Kaylin, I think, has probably the best chance of cracking the top 12. Um, I thought she did, I feel the earth move under my feet pretty well. Um, I think the only other person to do it was Kimberly Caldwell, I think, back in season two. I'll have to double check that, but as far as I know, Kimberly Caldwell is the only girl who's done that song and you know yeah <laughs> we're not gonna go into Kim Caldwell um but I thought I thought Caitlyn definitely fit the vibe of Carol King I I liked it um the judges didn't though which is kind of sad hmm. but I I thought I liked it I, I hope that she can skate by with it because I think she belongs in the top 12 I I really like um, the Lily, I think, is going to go right through to the top 12. Um, yes, I Fall to Pieces wasn't her best by any stretch of the imagination, but hey, at least she didn't do Walking After Midnight like I thought she was going to do. Because, you know, usually when somebody says, I'm going to do a Patsy Cline song, usually they mean Walking After Midnight. At least that's what Kelly Pickler and Megan Joy said. Yeah. Anyway, um, so... I think she's probably going to crack the top 12, and so I definitely think the competition will be better for having her in it. Um, let's see, Katie Stevens, um, again, Kelly Clarkson, WTF people, WTF, like seriously, Breakaway, I, mean, I thought it was fine, but yeah, she definitely needs to rein in her vocals a little bit because I actually do think she has a pretty good voice but she just needs to I really don't think she's picked the right song yet if that makes sense um so I think she could probably skate by and crack the top 12 possibly um cause if she has her you know pre semifinal fan base still intact she could probably do it um, but, yeah, the, I think Paige is probably going to go tomorrow, no question. That verse of Smile was, uh, not good. <laughs> um, it made me think of Gina Glockson's version of it, which was so much better, but she got eliminated for it. Dear. It also made me think of Jermaine Purifoy. Yeah, he should have been in this season's semifinals. I will not rest. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. But, yeah, I still kind of haven't gotten over that. But that's okay. Um, so, and Lacey 
even though her performance was an improved one, I think just based on the last couple weeks alone, you know, she might have her neck on the chopping block. You know, or maybe she could be this year's Megan Joy, who, oddly enough, she got passed up for Megan Joy last year. So, who knows? Maybe Lacey will go, maybe she won't, who knows. But I definitely think Paige is probably going to go home. Um, and if we're not careful, maybe Katie or Caitlin will probably go too, because they just got slammed by the judges tonight. Um, and also, speaking of Katie, um, yeah, what was up with that, with Simon's 10 out of 10 for effort? Or 10 out of 10 for trying? Please do not tell me you're regurgitating, uh, your weird words of praise for Danny Goki scream on last year. Ugh! Enough with the A for effort! <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so overall I thought the girls were okay. Um, the best were Dee Dee, Crystal, Siobhan, and Lily. The worst were probably, the worst was Paige, for sure. But I think Katie might be in trouble, and I also think that maybe Caitlin or Lacey could be in trouble as well. Just on the, just on judges' comments alone, I think they could probably be in trouble, but Caitlin is the one I'm the least worried about. So... Anywho, tomorrow we'll be back with the top eight boys, and then we're going to find out who our top 12 are on Thursday. Get excited! Alright, peace out.